correspondent for the VelvetOnion.com. We're right here at the Long Beach Art Theater with Oliver Ralph, director, producer, cameraman, musician, musician. <laughs> some of it, for um, Journey of the Childmen, the Mighty Bouchon tour. And I was privileged to get to see the uh, film tonight. And um, if you like documentaries, if you like the Boosh. Um, if your heart is beating, you're going to like this film. So if it comes near you, go see it. How did you become involved with this? Um, I'm basically friends of it. I mean, and this very early on, I was a fan, like, and uh, but it was a very small kind of group of people. I mean, I'd done music and drawing and film stuff, and I, th I don't know, there's something in common between me and Noel and Julian, and then just became really great friends. Oh, okay. And they kind of, they've always involved their friends in their world, you know, in the booth. So it's kind of like a family, so. And was the documentary their idea or your idea? Or? It was actually their idea. Yeah, I mean, just initially they were like, said, so, do you want to do a thing about the tour? And, and I said yes, and they've done it. But then since I've made the film, they haven't really been involved. They've just let me do it. It's been very hippie. And, you know, just, I've just done, made the film. Have a narrative thread in mind when you film the documentary, or did it did it emerge when you were doing the editing? Um, not really. I just kind of filmed. I vaguely had a sort of sense of what I needed to film as I was going along, but then we kind of just it happened as we edited. And it's a weird with documentary you kind of get this massive footage, and then you've somehow it's like a jigsaw puzzle with no image. You know, when you buy a jigsaw, there's an image that you kind of try and make. Yeah. In the documentary, there's no image. And you have to kind of make it from the pieces, from all these random bits of footage. And so it takes a long time. And you have to get the right kind of emotional development and the, avoid too much repetition and just get the structure right. And it's, in a way, I think making drama is easier because you've got the script and it's quite defined. Documentary is a bit more sort of amorphous, and that's why I've been to a lot of the screenings and tried to kind of, you know, figure it out as it as it goes along. In mining cave, I misbehave with guns and glass and broken knives. While tending to your eyes, I will come and find you. Mark is uh, getting some viewing here in the United States. Yeah. Are you going to bring your band, the Ralph Band, to the U.S.? I think that'd be great. Yeah, I would like to. Yeah, <laughs> good question. I like that question. Um, yeah, I'd love to. Yeah, I played at South by Southwest about three years ago. So, uh, but mainly my music has kind of been in Britain, in Europe, France, Italy. It's been kind of European. But uh, yeah, I'd love to play out here. So, I love a lot of American music, but in a way American music is my big thing really, Dylan and from Bob Dylan and Hank Williams all the way up to stuff coming out now, I, I love American music so I, I would love to play here. Oh good, well we'll look forward to that, I'm going to keep hoping. Um... Choose one, music or film? No two ways like my mother, my mum says, like, you've got to do one thing. <laughs> okay. You finally meet someone you actually stand a chance with, and what do you do? You crawl straight into the friend zone. You're like a brother, hmm. or a gay lord. I'm not interested. I think me and Eloise are about to... Great. I'm going to join you. I don't want to take the piss here, but, um... i All right, how is scoring a film like um, Bunny and the Bull different than uh, writing a normal album? 
um, I think partly of main, you know, it's mainly instrumental music as opposed to the songs, that's one thing. And also you're like having to react to uh, someone else's vision. And in the case of Bunny and the Bull, um, it was quite a natural fit somehow. I don't know, there was a sort of European road movie kind of strange sort of quite atmosphere to the film that I was quite comfortable with and, uh, and it just sort of happened quite naturally so it's something I'd really like to do more of. It. It's a way of having an involvement in the film just in another way. Hello, Vince! Oh, hi. You catch all them yourself, boy? Yeah. Ah, a true fisherman! See, fellas? A toast to the young man! Flirtini's all round! They improvise all that, you know, Vince. Really? Part of the Bushniverse, a good thing or not, does it make a difference to how the Ralph Band are perceived and received? I think in a way, I mean in a way the bottom line is does it make you more popular or not, you could say. And I mean we have found uh, fans by the Bush, but equally my band is a, a slightly different thing. To, I think the aesthetic of the Ralph Band is not that close to the Bush. So, you know, I think it's a good thing generally, but uh, I think rap, my band kind of exists separately and, you know, like we play in France and Italy and stuff to people who've never heard of the booth, so I don't know, but yeah. however people discover something, it's good, I think. Okay, well, thanks for talking to us, Oliver. No worries. Um, this has been Trixie and Oliver Ralph <laughs> from the VelvetOnion.com. And Thank Adam. You. And Adam. Who did the last letter of the film. Have you killed the onion today? <laughs> <laughs>